she said that? No, she didn't. <gasps> really? That sounded pretty intense. Birds have all the best gossip and information. <laughs> oh. Whoa, that was a close one, Ira. Careful now. I better not see you pull something like that again, Branch. <laughs> uh, okay, you saw that, right? What was that? Something? Anything? Nothing? What if it was something? I mean, Farron and I are friends. We've always been friends. He's cool. We're both cool. Everybody's cool. So, yeah, uh, this is probably nothing. I think this is something! Mm, mm, mm. It's a bit mushy. The apple, I mean. Am I supposed to be saying something? Uh, hey, you guys, uh, come check out this adorable butterfly. I'll be over here analyzing this dirt. What's going on, Ira? Are you and Farron, like, a thing? I don't know. It's probably nothing. But if it is something, what should I do? Emily? Well, I'm hardly an expert, but I did see an old movie about this. This one had a part where the girl wasn't sure about how the guy felt, so she made up a little test. She dropped a handkerchief to see if the guy would pick it up. I hear you, Miss Spry. I've always thought peanuts were overrated. I prefer a good cashew myself. Wow, this wind is... Oh! Okay, that didn't work. Ira, this isn't quite Your bracelets! I... Accessorize them! What on earth? The stuff you're testing him with is too hard. Like, literally? Because it's hitting him in the face. Ira, honestly, this isn't what I... Throw some flowers at him. Those are soft. Great idea! Whoa! <coughs> Did he pass or fail the test? I can't tell. Magic's awesome. I like it as much as the next elf. But we're not supposed to use it to prank each other. Amazing job. This is the prettiest bridge I've ever... Whoa! I guess frozen rainbow bridges can be a little slippery. Okay, quick compash. I may have been a teensy bit jealous when Farron took Emily's hand. But why? We're friends, right? We're this awesome team, so no way am I gonna wreck all that with a little crush. Buddies are way more important than waiting around for a boy. To be super, super clear, that hand-holding business meant nothing. Other than the fact that I'm a klutz and sometimes need help doing basic things like walking. Whoa! And sitting, apparently. We're friends. And someone having a crush doesn't change that. BFFs before BFs. Oh, <laughs> oh where'd that tree come from? Whew. Warn me next time, would ya, Miss Bry? Okay, this has never happened. Wait, I don't even know what this is. Is it a crush? Or... I just... Wow. give you a sneak peek into the wonderful world of Elvendale. Don't worry, we're not gonna stare at my nose the whole time. Let's go visit the cool pads and chill cribs of my Elvendale peeps. <laughs> Wrong way. Nida, our viewers wanna know, do you ever get seasick? Never. I sometimes feel a bit woozy on land though. All that dirt can make you dizzy. Um, speaking of dirt, I didn't do the best job cleaning the deck before you got here. Done. <laughs> Got my hair too. Did you guys see that freak wave? Big enough to get me soaked, but uh, too small to surf. I didn't know you were here. Did we have plans? Nope. But remember when you said I was welcome anytime and I should make myself at home? <laughs> Ta da! Hey, Em, did Nida take you around her spa? Wow! Thanks, Nida. I'm off to Ira's workshop now. Enjoy the singing. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay, so I think 
think we're done with singing. <laughs> Show me your workshop, Ira. I have a whole archive system for all of my ideas. Stuff I want to build, stuff I'm inventing, stuff I've designed, stuff that's just stuff. I want a couple of helpful friends who make sure it all stays organized. Tea time! <laughs> Look, I heated up myself. Where to next, Em? The next rad pad on my list? Farron's Treehouse. Check it out. The carpet's made of grass, the curtains are actually flowers, and there's always snacks. Do uh, you need any shots of me by any chance? A little of this? What about... Just so you know, the camera can't film your face when you've got your back turned. <laughs> you just can't handle all this. <laughs> it's okay. This little cub's 100% house trained. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Have a seat before it gets cold. Wow! Oh, that meal was magic. How about I go over and film your crib now, Azari? Uh, well... Oh, you don't really have a home? I, I kind of sort of don't. Is that weird? You know what? Even though your own place can be fun, it's not about where you live. It's about who you're with. I like that. Thanks, Sam. Plus, can you imagine if I had my own pad and I just hung out there all the time? <laughs> who would eat all my freshly grown fruit before I even had a chance to pick it? And who'd make sure I'm never bored by moving all my stuff to places I'd never think to look? We'd miss you so much, Azari. In that case, I'm gonna crash at your houses for a long time. Quick question, Farron. Did you make dessert? stuffed ourselves. How about we dance? Don't tell me you're shy. Here, watch. Okay, are your feet mad at your legs or is your head mad at your neck? I, I just... I thought maybe you'd burned yourself and were writhing in pain. Yeah. What? Are you saying I looked like I was in pain? Well, kinda. Step aside. Let me show you how it's done. Ladies, if you'll do me the honor. Nida, are you gonna get up there? I, um, I think it's important that I stay here and be the best audience member I can be. Also, I'm busy monitoring the water levels in this stream here. Don't you want to have fun, too? When I dance, it's the opposite of fun. It's a full-on disaster. <laughs> there were a couple starfish laughing about that for a week. Well, forget them. It's all about having fun. But you guys will be watching. And everyone already teased you, Emily. Ah, oh, that was just jokes. We're friends. We'll love whatever you do. Yep, even if it ends with you somehow falling in the ocean. You can't care what other people think. You just gotta do your own thing. Emily's right. There's no wrong way to dance. Just give it a try, Nida. No one will laugh. We just invented a totally new, amazingly cool routine by mixing the best from Emily's world and Elvendale. You looked amazing. Well, I have to say that it was the coolest thing ever. You kicked some serious butt, Nida. Well, you shook some serious butt. Oh, <laughs> you've got some sweet moves, girl. Whoa! 
Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Check this out, Emily. Em, watch this. Um, so do you guys want lunch or what? Wait, what just happened? Maybe it's better if she doesn't know. Guys, look. Emily, we have a story to tell. It might get a little weird. I'm open to weird, after what I just saw. Well, years ago, when we were all teeny tiny kids, we were out playing hide and seek. 995, 996, 997, 998, 999, Whoa. I gave you guys to a thousand, and you're just standing here. Whoa. Let's go in. Come on, who's first? Me. Nida, you coming? Um, I don't think it's safe. You're not afraid, are you? No, I'm not scared. It goes on forever. Look at all the cool plants. Has anyone seen my necklace? Um, I'm gonna look over. Ah! Okay, I won't look there. This way! Ah! I... I think we're trapped. Come on, guys. We're magic. We can figure a way out of here. If it blows downward, maybe there's an opening. It'll be our way out. Oops. I think we need fire. <sighs> look up. Look up. See anything? Uh, a hidden passage out of here. Oh, I bet I can find wind from a crack in the wall. Then we'll know where the exit is, right? I feel like the walls are keeping in on me. Everyone's trapped, in case you didn't notice. And all because Night had to find her necklace. I didn't even want to come in here. You should have listened to me. Stop, Baron. You're always bossing us around. <clears throat> if you trust me and my magic, we'd be out of here by now. No way. My magic is better. Well, my magic is for rocks and crystals, like this one. <laughs> it's not a living thing. It's no use. Well, then what happened? Honestly, we don't know. I remember a fiery explosion. And a huge white light. We escaped the cave, but it's a mystery to this day. Truth is, our magic can't be combined. It's impossible. But that whole story was about your magic being combined. Doesn't that mean it is possible? Try telling that to anyone. Nobody believes it. I'm just glad we could tell you, Emily. You're one of us. These bagels aren't gonna eat themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, sounds good. But imagine what you could do if you combined your powers. I have a feeling you're right. But we don't know how, except by accident. Hmm. Maybe you're just missing that one thing. The fifth element to go with your four. Earth, air, fire, water, and... <gasps> Not exactly sweater weather. Emily, hey. Why do you look like a fuzzy bear? Is this a new fashion trend we should know about? <laughs> it's a lot colder in my world. It's the holiday season. What's that? It's the best time of year. There's beautiful decorations, carols, parties with friends. Oh, and there's Santa and his elves. Wait, you said you didn't have elves in your world. Are they as cute as we are? I want to meet them. I don't know if I can arrange any elf intros, but you can definitely help me celebrate the holidays. Come on, let's gather these presents and go to Sky Castle. Whoa, Sky Castle? I just want to include Skyra. 
since she is family. Is it time for presents? First, we have to put up the decorations. We'll surprise Skyra with all the cool stuff we make. Gotta say, she doesn't seem super into surprises. We'll make ornaments, and Farron, you go get the tree. Tree? Okay, now you're just making stuff up. Bring the tree to the castle, and we'll hang decorations on it and cover it in lights. Hmm, red is the color of the holidays, so maybe you could look for red things to decorate with? This holiday's a little bit nuts. Got your tree, Emily. Hey, check it out. Red ladybugs. I found red leaves blown off the trees by wind. And I brought a ruby starfish. Oh, dear. What's that? It's Flamey. He's red. <laughs> okay, it's possible bringing Flamey was a bit of a mistake. We'll go over there and apologize for ruining everything. Cool? Cool. Then I'll fly us all home. Guys, she's coming over. You guys are the best. Uh, we are? You made the holidays yours, and I love it. Really, Emily? Really. Plus, we're all together. So what could be better than that? Um, presents? <laughs> yes, presents. A special lamp for you, Azari. Whoa, groovy. Nida, this is a fishbowl for your sea creature friends. Oh, thank you. Seeds for Farron. Oh, that's great. Thank you. And here, Ira, a pair of binoculars. <gasps> They're magic. Everything is huge. Okay, Em. And now it's our turn. It's a stick for when you plant stuff. Well, thank you. All of you. I despise surprises. I said that, huh? D didn't I say that? We thought it'd be fun to celebrate here in the castle with you. I've heard of these ridiculous celebrations from your grandmother. Leave at once, all of you, and never come back. I thought you might like some company in this great, big, lonely old castle. Yeah, it's too bad you didn't want any part of this, Skyra. There was gonna be singing, snacks... Decorations and presents? <clears throat> well, uh, if Emily thinks it's so important, maybe I'll just, you know, get it over with. <gasps> oh, this is magic. first, and hey, let's just say it, best safety video. Uh, where's Farron? Wind conditions this perfect don't come along every day. Finally! What were you doing? Betting Miss Spry who could hide the most acorns? Spoiler alert, it's her. Oh, hey! Take a seat, folks. It's dragon riding time. Yeah! <laughs> But before we fly, we need to learn a thing or ten about safety. Oh. Uh. Welcome aboard your dragon. Your safety is our priority. First up, sitting securely. <laughs> Dude, like anyone doesn't know how to sit. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh. All carry-on items should be securely stowed in your dragon's storage compartment. Or, if you're not riding the heroic Earth Dragon, it may be placed beneath your feet. 
Ensure all magical devices are turned off during takeoff and landing. A little over the top, don't you think? Elves and dragons are cool now. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Yeah! Woo <laughs> oh no! Go back! Go back! Uh... Ah, sorry! In the unlikely event of a water landing, your dragons can be used as rafts. Stay seated and try not to panic. <laughs> this is just like hanging out on Nida's boat. Wait, where is Nida? Of course, all Elvendale flights are strictly non-smoking. If anyone is caught smoking, they will be forced to make an emergency landing upon which Miss Spry will escort them to the Crystal Hollow, where they may or may not be pelted with acorns. Your dragon has two emergency exits, one over each wing. On behalf of everyone at Elvendale Air, I'd like to thank you for your undivided attention. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the... <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? You could have listened! Shall we? Safety first! dragon in it. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted that magical bond. And I had it with Gust. But lately, she's been moody. Like, making trees shake when she flies moody. See? I had to turn to someone who could help. I've loved dragons since I was no bigger than a dragon paw. But they're mysterious creatures, and we've got to treat them with respect. That's where I come in. They call me the Dragon Whisperer. Fancy walk. Meanwhile, I'm dying to know what's going on. Uh, so, what'd you learn? Gust loves me? <laughs> she does. But she loves the sky and the wind just as much. She needs to be flying more, Ira. Loop to loops, somersaults, the works. For real? You got all that from. <sighs> <sighs> You're as good as they say. <sighs> I'll do flying tricks with you. Let's go! Sometimes you and your BDF, best dragon friend, just need to reconnect. Hey, Nida. Where's Marina? It's weird, Titus. I'll be putting bows on her scales, and Marina suddenly needs a nap. Are dragons really that lazy? Hmm. Let me figure out what's up. Okay, here's the thing. If you can promise to ease up on the spa treatments a bit... Okay, ease up a lot and just chill with Marina instead, she'll totally hang with you. Guess I'll save the spa stuff for my two-footed friends. <laughs> oh, but, uh, she is lazier than other dragons. <laughs> Do I buy the whole Dragon Whisperer thing? I don't know. But when your forest's on fire, you're willing to try anything. Zanya's a bit claustrophobic. She started that fire by accident when she was letting off steam. Well, steam plus raging flames. 
Give her a little space. She'll be fine. <laughs> you know, I sometimes need space. I don't set stuff on fire. Well, what do you think? I feed him, I promise. <laughs> what? Uh, is it possible he picked up his manners from you? Me? Dragons sometimes imitate. Maybe you could eat a bit slower. You know, chew before swallowing. <laughs> that seems fair. Hey, Thorn! Come on, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you two don't have any problems at all. Uh, well... That might be a bit much. <laughs> to Elvendale's annual dragon race. <laughs> the winner will receive the golden wing, inspired by our dragons. Oh, that trophy's gonna look sweet in my hands. The race has challenges in all four elements, so no elf or dragon has an advantage over the other. Thorn and I have one advantage. We're awesome. <laughs> Magic is permitted, but only to help yourself, not to sabotage a competitor. Hear that? Nobody better try any crazy stuff on me. Or me. Or me. Especially since I don't have any magic. Elves? Emily? Mount your dragons, and may the best dragon win! It doesn't really matter who wins. <laughs> right, says the girl on the queen dragon. This is 100% about winning. You guys are 100% gonna lose. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not easily distracted. So you better... Oh, cookies! Yo, yo, dragon riders! Sponsor treats here. Yeah, that's right. Magic Bakery is a race's top sponsor. Hey, you want to win? Yeah, you do. Hmm, free cookies for a year. <laughs> yum, yum. Right? Best thing you've ever tasted. Buttercream! Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute. Aw, little thing wants to race.
can visit the Magic Bakery. Open all hours, except now, because obviously I'm here. And the winner is... A baby? The power of focus. This baby never took her eye off the prize for a second. Rain wins the Elvendale Dragon Race. <laughs> well, we did say may the best dragon win. Looks like she did.